Holly Hunter. What would you have done if you hadn't found Holly Hunter and you almost uh, had I would somebody have, else? I would have had a, a movie that didn't work, I think. Right. You know, and that's the that's a frightening thing that you can put all your you can put everything into a script, you can do all your prep, and if five different people walk through the door at that key moment, you have five different movies. It's everything else the same. It's one of the you know, it's something you can't even be conscious of because it's so humbling to even think about it. But she she came, I, I had to start shooting in three days when she came in the room for the first time. And, um, and we were lucky she was in town. And we were, and we were lucky, and, I, and you're, you're always lucky when somebody who you work with closely doesn't take your passion as being, you know, in, being insane or being neurotic. That just takes your passion as passion. And Juliet Taylor, who's Woody Allen's casting director, and, you know, did so many great films, so, so important. She was my casting director, and, I, and she had brought everybody she could think of in front of me. And still, when I was on the, on the phone, you know, two days before I had to start shooting, she listened. She listened, and, and she made me repeat again what I was looking for. And Holly Hunter had done just a couple of things. And, you know, and, and, I don't, I, and the picture would not have worked without her, I don't think. And, and I postponed for six months to get Bill Hurt, because I don't think the picture would have worked without him. And Albert, I always had in mind. And it's interesting this brings you back to your start, really, in uh, broadcast news. Um, when you made a film about it, uh, you did a lot of research. Did you learn anything that you didn't know about the news business? Um, it, was it was the time of the first massive layoffs that are still going on. The time New York Times announced today they're laying off uh, 100 more people. Um, yeah. And, um, and and it was and it was the, the the time of those layoffs. But the most but this is one of the examples of research. I had to write this character who wasn't in it, played by Bill Hurt, who who was sort of a dumb guy, sort of a limited guy who, because he was good looking, was elevated basically to the top of the news department in in very crude terms. And um, and there was a guy on a CBS news show that was kissing show business for the first time that was on that show. And everybody in the news department made fun of him. And everybody, you know, he was a good looking guy and he, he, he had not paid the dues everybody else had paid. And I interviewed him and, and it was the best thing I could, that could have happened to me because he was aware that he was the butt of jokes. And suddenly he became sympathetic to me. And, that, and I think if I hadn't met him, I would have written the character in a much more two dimensional mm -hmm. way. So one thing that's interesting here is there are two endings to this film. And if you look at the Criterion uh, DVD, you can see the other ending that was shot, uh, which really changes how we see this film. Did you, when you wrote the script, were you uncertain about the end, or, or what made you shoot? I had, this, I had this idea that the only way to do a romantic triangle was to really be open to, to either guy getting the girl. You know, that, that you know, every, every romantic triangle you ever saw, it was sort of preordained who you should root for and who should get the girl, and you waited till that happened. And I, and I left that open. I told the actors I was open to either one of them getting the girl. And so that, that means that you're playing every scene. I, it was such a great time. You're, you're playing every scene without having to have that result. The result of the scene must be that you like this person more. You, so, so it just made the work so much more interesting for everybody, for all of us. And then as we get, to, and then we got towards the end, I couldn't put her with any guy. And you, you don't want to end a romantic comedy that way, <laughs> you know, preferably. But I couldn't do it. Uh, so I didn't. And then foreseeably, when you go out and you, have, and you have test wings, people weren't even sure which one they wanted her with, but they wanted her with somebody. So this is a, it's a long story. So I had, a, so I had an idea. There was, a, there was a French film, A Man and a Woman, that had a wonderful emotional ending where she gets off the train, and I forget what the story was, but they weren't going to happen, and she suddenly sees him, and the scene really gets you. And then I read that the director had not told her when she got off the train that he would be there or vice versa. I thought, boy, that's so cool. And so I tried to set it up with retakes. I told them we need a technical retake for Polly leaving the airport in a cab at the end of the evening, after they, after they were over. Leaving, leaving, the, leaving the airport with a cab. 
and, I, and my joke, <coughs> my, not my joke, I was trying to emulate that French experience because at the last minute I was going to put Bill Hurt in the cab with her in character that he came back knowing that they were each good at improvisation and seeing what would happen and maybe I'd get just a juicy ending. And then just before Bill got it, and you know what, for a movie company to set up something like this and to be at LAX, it was like a big deal. And just before Bill got in the car, so somebody said, hey Bill, one of the members on the crew, and, and it was over. And I went at a body, I think we filmed something, but you know, but that meant that I, I, I went with the original ending, which just projected them into the future and showed how, you know, and I think, I think it was, and then I saw the picture two years after I made it, and I figured with the ending I had, what the picture was really about was three people who lost their last shot at real intimacy. It sort of made, which I'd never intended when I wrote it, but you know, it's a team sport, and a film can mean, you know, if you work in a, in a great way, you know, and we, and we had great people who worked in a great way on that picture, you know, you, you can end up having your film be about something you never imagined.